Fair Share is the UK's national network of charitable food redistributors made up of 18 individual organisations. Together we take good quality surplus food from right across the food industry, including manufacturers, distribution centres, farmers, packing houses and more, and get it to over 10,000 charities and community groups. The food we redistribute is nutritious and good to eat. With Fair Share, instead of going to waste, this food ends up on plates. Some of the organisations we support include older people's lunch clubs, homeless shelters and community cafes. Every week, we provide enough food to create two and a half million meals for vulnerable people. We'd like to share with you what goes on behind the scenes at one of our bustling regional centres, how we get food out to the frontline charities in our communities and the people that help us to make it all happen. First, we have our reception, where volunteers and staff members sign in for the day. The team get their safety equipment on here, including boots and their high-vis jackets, ready for a shift sorting food and packing orders in the warehouse. We also have a break room here, where volunteers and staff members can grab a drink and a well-earned break and socialise together. Volunteers are important um, for us at Fair Share because they are the backbone of our operations. Without them, we simply couldn't do what we do, whether that's driving our vans, picking our orders, answering the phones, or being the friendly face of Fair Share in the community. Without those guys, we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing. Now let's hear from Joe on the journey that food goes through when it comes into our warehouse. Hi, my name's Joe, and I'm a regional operations manager for Fair Share. And today, I would like to show you around one of our many warehouses. Come on, let's go and have a look. Volunteers and staff members sort the food as it comes in and put it away onto pallets or racking in the warehouse or into the freezers and chillers, which we'll show you around in just a moment. The racking holds a lot of ambient stock. As you can see, we have a large variety of mixed foods. This is the main produce that we have that we receive from the suppliers and it's really good quality food. We've also got the warehouse next door that has got another five chillers in. So once the food comes in, it gets booked in and put away into each chiller so that when we come to allocate to do picking, we know which fridge it's in. This is one of our chillers. Let's go in and have a look what we've got in here today. So in chiller two, we keep all our chilled items such as yogurts, butters, cheeses, We've got a lot of healthy foods. All of our food is in date. So we'll go and have a look now what we have in our freezer. Put my jacket on to keep warm. This is our new freezer. And inside the freezer, we have got a large variety of frozen food. This has enabled us to be able to give our community food members more of a variety each time that they order. We've also are able to freeze down any stock that we have in that hasn't got a long life on it. So what we'll do now is we'll go over and see how the volunteers are doing on the picking. Every depot has a different number of CFMs. A CFM is a community food member. They are the collect food from us or we deliver. At the moment, Julie is doing a, a collection and the CFM will come and collect it tomorrow. She picks the order from the picking list she then prepares the food onto a flatbed and then is stored in one of the chillers, ready for the next day. The vans are then loaded up at the front of the warehouse with the correct orders, ready for the drivers and driver's assistants to go out into the community. I deliver and volunteer because it's part of, as an old age pensioner, keeping me fit and also connecting with people. And I enjoy meeting the people and understanding their needs. I've struggled and I know what it's like to struggle and I get a reward from that. I get a personal deep reward from what I'm doing. Finally, the drivers are off and the food leaves the warehouse and is on its way to the fantastic frontline charities we support. Fair Share have been really helpful for me um, in starting the, uh, the, the food bank because uh, if I hadn't known that I could get food from here, uh, I wouldn't really have known where to start. We're dependent on all sorts of people, but particularly we're dependent on Fair Share because they give us the largest amount of food. 
there's so many families out there that are struggling that haven't got um, the money or the means to be able to go out there and get the, some of these foods that are out there and with Fair Share we're able to go out there get the food and then actually distribute it out to many families out there in the, in Hansworth which is one of the most deprived areas in Birmingham so yeah I think it's great I think it's great and yeah whatever more they can do for us we'll definitely will take it on board. What drives the whole team here at our Fair Share warehouse is the impact we're creating each day for the people in our communities. Every tin of food and piece of fruit is going to someone who needs it and avoiding going to waste. Thank you for joining me today on the site tour and I really do hope that you have enjoyed yourselves. We hope you've enjoyed looking behind the scenes at how we work, the scale of our operations and the people behind our mission. Thank you to all our supporters who help us to achieve the impact we do, whether donating surplus food, funding us to allow us to get the food out to the community or donating their time to volunteer in our regional centres. You've allowed us to continue fighting food waste and food poverty, delivering two and a half million meals each week across the network.